Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. And boy, Heidi, do I have something new to show you today. This is for those of you who are doing DMR programming. And it's a new feature. It's a DMR wizard. And it's going to make setting up different repeaters with all your talk groups so much easier. But let's start at the beginning. It starts with open your program, go to help, check for updates. And this little screen tells you that there are updates to be done. But the first thing you need to do is close the programmer. No, I don't want to save. The little screen is still here and update. All done. We'll be right back and I'll show you what it added. So you get your programmer all updated, come back into it, and it opens the file, and you go to settings, and there's a new option. It's called DMR calculator. And let me show you what it'll do. But I got to show you what you have to do first. There's always a first, right? We're going to go to talk groups. Presuming that you're working in a file that you've been building, you already have a talk group list. But if you're in a new file, be sure you set your talk groups up first. Zones. We need to add zones. Think about how you're going to organize the repeaters that you're entering. I have a group for Georgia. I have a group for Alabama. I have a group for Tennessee. I have a group for Ohio because that's where I travel. That's where the repeaters are, not the talk groups necessarily. Those are my divisions, how I want to organize my channels. And all I did was enter them. And now I go to memories. Now, settings, DMR calculator. And it comes up. And first of all, here are all my talk groups. It already knows it's 600 kilohertz and minus for that part of the band. You, of course, can change this as needed. I'm going to select all my talk groups, or I can come down here and take a few of them out. I'm going to use the talk group as the name for the channel. It automatically knows I'm going to start at channel number 44. This repeater has a color code of 4 and uses repeater talk slot 2. And I'm going to put them in my Alabama group and apply. And if it goes down off the bottom of the page, be assured it is still working. And it will tell you when it's finished and tell it OK. Well, my next repeater is 446.75. It knows it's a 5 megahertz minus offset, again, based on a band plan. I want to uncheck these, and I only want this one in there. And this is what I'm going to do when I go to Tennessee, and I'm going to apply. Channels added successfully. And my next one is 146.940 automatically knows my offset. This time I want all of them. Color code on this repeater is 1. Time slot still 2. This is the repeater I use when I go to Dayton, and I want to be able to talk to all my friends that I normally talk to. And I'm going to apply. And it's finished. We give you a place here that you can save the file. It's a computer. You're putting in lots of data. It's always good to save occasionally. And we're going to close. And we go to zones. Everything's in here. Tennessee has the one. Alabama has the whole list. The others are still there and not disturbed. This is ready. Send to your radio, all programmed up and ready to go. How easy is that?
Well, it's Karen, and I will catch you on the air. And remember, if you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.